For today's quick tip, I thought I wanted to do something just a little bit different. Today I'm going to teach you guys how to do a simple perspective tracking using Perspective Tracker 2.2 plugin by Pixel Film Studios. Just as a disclaimer, I'm not sponsored by them, but I just wanted to make this tutorial because I really find that this app is extremely useful, especially if you need to overlay things that are moving. Now let's go straight in and have a look. Okay, so first let's go into Final Cut Pro and drag and drop the clip that you want to use. Make sure the clip has some movement. Remember, clips that are clear and high in contrast works best for these sort of plugins. So make sure your clip is good and fits all those basic criteria. Once you've dragged and dropped the clip onto the timeline, start trimming it to as how long you want it to be. When you're done with that, I would suggest finding yourself any logo or picture you'd like to use as an overlay onto the tracked subject. Make sure that the file is a transparent PNG so that when you overlay the logo or picture, it wouldn't obscure the bottom layer that you want to track. Now that your clip is on the timeline, drag and drop the perspective tracker on top of the clip and open the track editor from the inspector window. Once in the perspective tracker track editor, make sure that you drag the clip timeline to the beginning of the clip. Now start to drag the point where you want the tracker to track. Once you've done that, press the play button here and it will begin to track the point. This may take a few seconds or a few minutes depending on how complex the clip is. Once that's done, just click on the export data button and wait till it's fully exported. Once that's done, make sure that your tracker layer is still selected in the timeline and now go to the inspector window in the drop zone controls and turn that on. Now select the file that you have put aside earlier and use it as the source file for tracker to overlay. And that's it. Now you have just tracked an image onto your moving clip. So I hope you did find this tip useful. If you did, please don't forget to give us a like, share and subscribe. And I'll see you guys in the next Q-Tips.